and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about horses, donkeys, and mules. Horses only spawn in the savanna and plains biome and can spawn in herds of two to six horses. The herds will always have the same color, but their patterns may vary. A horse's color can vary from liver chestnut, buckskin, flaxen chestnut, white, dapple gray, bay, and black. Their patterns can be spotted, sooty, regular, paint, or socks. You can tame a horse by riding them until love hearts appear. But make sure your hand is empty when doing so, because if you try right-clicking on them with an item in your hand, it will not let you ride it. Once love hearts have appeared, that means you have tamed the horse, and you know for sure that you have tamed the horse by pressing E while you're on it, and this will come up with the option to put a saddle or horse armor on your horse. But just because you have tamed a horse doesn't mean you can control it, not yet anyway. What you need to do is once again press E, and you can put a saddle on your horse to be able to control it. Now you can control as much as you want. But if you do not have a saddle, you want to keep your horse safe by either taking it to your home and putting it in a stable. Make sure your stable is big enough for your horse. I actually made this one too small because this is not actually wide enough for the horse to go in. And make sure the horse cannot jump over the fences. So make sure your fences are two blocks high, if not more, just to be safe. To make a horse jump, you need to hold down the spacebar to build up power, and then release for it to jump. The longer you hold spacebar, the more power it has to jump. Saddles can be found in 2.5% of Stronghold Altar Chests, 35.7% of Nether Fortress Chests, 23.7% of Desert Temple Chests, 16.3% of Village Blacksmith Chests, 29% of Dungeon Chests, 13.4% of End City Chests, and 15.5% of Jungle Temple Chests, all in groups of one. When you fish, saddles can be obtained as a treasure item from fishing. When you trade, if you trade with a villager leather worker, you, they can sell saddles for 8 to 10 emeralds as a third tier trade option. You probably want to get horse armor for your horse to protect it. In order from least protective to most protective, it goes iron horse armor, gold horse armor, and then finally diamond horse armor. It cannot be crafted, and iron horse armor can be found in 2.5% of Stronghold Altar Chests, 19.2% of Nether Fortress Chests, 18.2% of Desert Temple Chests, 5.7% of Village Blacksmith Chests, 22.2% of Dungeon Chests, 4.6% of End City Chests, and 5.4% of Jungle Temple Chests, all in groups of one. Gold horse armor can be found in 2.5% of Stronghold Altar Chests, 29.4% of Nether Fortress Chests, 12.4% of Desert Temple Chests, 5.7% of Village Blacksmith Chests, 15.1% of Dungeon Chests, 4.6% of End City Chests, and 5.4% of Jungle Temple Chests, all in groups of one. Diamond horse, horse armor can be found in 2.5% of Stronghold Altar Chests, 11.8% of Nether Fortress Chests, 6.3% of Desert, Desert Temple Chests, 5.7% of Village Blacksmith Chests, 7.7% of Dungeon Chests, 4.6% of End City Chests, and 5.4% of Jungle Temple Chests, all in groups of one. Horses can have different jump health and speed stats. Some horses are worse than others, so breeding two horses will give you a mixture of both of their stats. For example, horses' health can range from 15 to 30 health points. Horses can be fed sugar, which heals one health point, speeds growth by 30 seconds, and increases temper by 3. Horses can also be fed wheat, which heals 2 health points, speeds growth by 20 seconds, and increases temper by 3. Horses can be fed apples, which heals 3 health points, speeds growth by 1 minute, increases temper by 3 as well. Horses can also be fed golden carrots, which can be used to breed, can heal 4 health points, 
increases growth by a minute and is increases temper by five. Horses can be fed golden apples, which heals 10 health points, speeds growth by four minutes, and increases temper by 10. Horses can also be fed hay bales, which heals 20 health points, speeds growth by three minutes, and does not increase temper, but hay bales can only be fed to tamed horses, while everything else can be fed to untamed horses. Horses don't like to be ridden across water, so instead you're going to have to pull them across with a lead, and you're just going to have to swim, or you can go in a boat, and with the new Minecraft 1.9 update, you can actually fit a your horse and yourself in a boat together to travel with your horse across water but yeah for whatever reason they don't like to be ridden in the water but they can swim in the water which is a bit weird skeleton horses can spawn as skeleton traps from natural lightning strikes but do not otherwise spawn naturally so if you want these horses you're going to have to use the command slash summon entity horse with the little squiggly lines for your position type Four for the skeleton horse so when I press this button as you can see it spawns it it spawns it inside the block but oh well and if you want the zombie horse these can only be spawned in using the command slash summon entity horse squiggly lines for your position type 3 and when I press this button you get the horse unfortunately these two horses cannot be ridden or tamed which I wish it could, seeing that, I mean, this zombie horse is pretty much not used at all in the game. So it would be really cool if you could use these, but sadly, you cannot quite use them yet, except for the skeleton horse, which sometimes spawns as skeleton traps. And as you can see, the skeleton horse drops bones, and the zombie horse will drop rotten flesh once it dies. Donkeys are tamed the same way horses are, except they look different, and they can actually hold chests, which can be used to hold quite a fair bit of storage if you need to have more storage when traveling, which can be pretty useful, except other than that, donkeys just are there. You can't even put armor on them, which is pretty sad, but I guess they are pretty cool and pretty useful. If you breed a horse and a donkey together with, once again, golden apples or golden carrots, you will get a mule. A mule is basically a brown donkey. It can't have armor. Instead, it is like a donkey, which holds the chest, which gives you some storage, but not as much as a normal chest, of course. To be honest, mules aren't very useful. They're, they're basically just brown donkeys, so yeah breed them if you want to, but I wouldn't. That's all I have to show you today. I put a lot of time into making this video, so I hope you enjoyed it and you got a lot of information about it. I've been Moomoo003, and I'll see you later. Bye!